Hello, this is Daniel from soundheadquarters.com. In today's video, we're building these bass traps with integrated acoustic walls. I'm gonna show you step by step how we take it from this to this in just a quick video. We're gonna have the full length video of this entire studio build coming soon. This video is just dedicated to these bass trap with acoustic wall integration. So here is what we're starting off with. You can see we have that small bulkhead in the corner there. Um, which is not present on this corner. So we have to make our base trap frame wide enough so that it clears that um, intrusion into the corner there on the right side of the front wall of this control room here. So we're making our frames for the base trap right now. I'm using two by two lumber and I'm just cutting this up to build my frame. Now these frames ended up being uh, just over three feet wide and just over 50 inches tall. Um, you can build these to whatever size you need for your room. Uh, you can go floor to ceiling if you like. I have other videos on my channel doing floor to ceiling style base traps. Uh, but for this client, we decided to keep all access to electrical and have the full bottom perimeter of the room be open. Uh, so we are just about ready to mount these frames. You can see I set up my laser level and we're matching with the top of that window casing just so that we have a nice cohesive and professional look at the end of the studio build. So I'm just using construction screws and screwing these frames into place. I'm marking out on the wall to make sure that I'm at a 45 degree angle and everything is nice and equal and level, spaced out properly, and just hitting that laser on the top of that window casing, making sure that everything is nice and consistent with each other. Now we can build these acoustic wall frames uh, that are going to be integrated into these base traps. Uh, this client wanted six foot acoustic walls in combination with the base traps that we built in the room here. Uh, so we are just framing that out with the same lumber, with the same two by two. and. You can see I just kind of pre-started a couple screws in there just because I was installing this by myself. So I just kind of had to, <laughs> had to handle it like that. Um, but yeah, that's an that's a easy way to kind of lift this and get it screwed into the wall by yourself. You just kind of start it beforehand and you're able to screw it in there. So once again, just match that all up with the laser. I marked out on the wall there where all the studs are. Now you don't have to screw this into every stud. This is not holding that much weight. Um, you just, you definitely do want to get a few screws into studs here just to make sure that your wall is nice and secure and you're not going to have any rattles or anything when people are playing music loudly in this control room. So this is the other part of the build. This will be more in the full length video, but we did full wood cladding in both the live room and control room of this client's studio build. So just kind of fast forwarded through that. That gives us our slate to start insulating and upholstering. So we are using Rockwool Comfort Board 80 as our acoustic insulation here, and I'm just cutting it to size. And since these frames are smaller than the, or larger rather than the four foot tall that these acoustic um, insulation panels are, I'm just using two inch drywall screws just to hold them into the wall. Uh, Cause that framing exists to secure the upholstery and to secure the final, the final trim. Uh, it's not necessary for it to be structurally holding the acoustic insulation. So we just use some drywall screws to hold it in place. Here I'm making a bottom brace and a top brace for the base traps. This is what's gonna hold all of the insulation in place and we're gonna upholster this as well, uh, top and bottom, so nothing's exposed to the air. Uh, so I just tack that in with the nail gun and you can see I added some additional bracing there just so I have something to staple the fabric to on all sides of that triangular base trap. And I'm gonna add a couple pieces on top right now. Uh, this is for the insulation will just sit rest on top of, and then the underside of this will get upholstered. Now you can see these, some additional bracing. I just used some of the cladding we used on the wall just to put a little support right behind the two by two frame. This is what's gonna hold our rigid acoustic insulation, our rigid rock board 80 in place in the front of the acoustic panel frame. And that whole rear cavity is getting filled with Rockwell safe and sound um, getting cut to size. So that's like the softer acoustic insulation is filling up the whole cavity, which you'll see in a moment here. And then the rigid acoustic insulation will make up the outside right underneath the fabric. Here is the trim. We used one by four pine uh, and we stained it in the exact same color to match the whole control room there. And we are just cutting a 45 degree angle on some of these trim pieces here. Um, and getting all of our trim prepped and ready for the install. Here is my friend Christian who helped out with this build. He is cutting our rock wool safe and sound. This is what's going to fill the large triangular cavity of the base trap. So you can see that just gets cut to size uh, with a knife. I'm using the, the one, uh, like the little rock wool knife that you can get at the hardware store. Um, but even like a bread knife would work. 
would work well, just a serrated knife. So you can see we're just cutting out those triangles and we're just placing them. This corner, since it has that intrusion of the bulkhead there, uh, we're doing two separate triangles. Um, but on the other side, we just cut large triangles to fill the cavity. So you can see we're just cutting that to the triangular size and just filling that entire cavity. Once that entire cavity is full, now it's ready for our rigid acoustic insulation. This is the Rockwell Comfort Board 80. This provides a greater density compared to the Rockwell Safe and Sound. It also provides a rigid, um, just something rigid to be behind the fabric. Uh, it's a more professional product and when clients touch the fabric or bump into it or and just so that no fabric sags, none of that soft insulation is ever going to poke into the fabric. It just gives us a way nicer end product and sound wise as well. You can see we did that bulkhead base trap from my previous video. Here's a bunch of the trim pieces just drying in the sun from the clear coat. And once they're all dry, then they are ready to, to tack on after we upholster. So here's the upholstery we're doing. This client decided to go with a vanilla colored Lux Velvet. This was a non-stretch velvet. This was a very heavyweight, like very nice uh, premium fabric this client chose. Really worked out well with the color scheme of the room. And I'm just getting this stapled in using quarter inch staples and I'm using a pneumatic stapler. And I'm following all of my frame marks very carefully because I wanna make sure, especially where that base trap meets the acoustic wall, that my single piece of trim will cover up all of those staple marks. So you can see we have our acoustic walls and base traps upholstered. Um, I also upholstered the bottom and top of the base trap at this step. I just don't, didn't have a clip of that one. Um, but you can see all of the upholstery in the room is all done. Now we are ready for the final trim. So we're gonna use those pieces of one by four and I'm getting them cut to size. So where these pieces meet the base trap portion, I cut a 45 on my miter saw so that they meet up nice and flat with that portion. Same with that vertical trim piece right there. And just getting these all cut to size, cutting the 45 on my miter saw and on my table saw wherever I need to for to meet, meet the wall. And you can see just the final cap, end cap piece that I tacked on there on the right side of the wall gives us our nice final product. Here's a little snapshot of the whole finished control room here. I'm gonna have the full length video of this entire studio build, full control room, full live room, all of the custom lighting, all of the custom work we did coming up very soon on the channel. I'm just trying to break down all of this footage into digestible chunks for everyone. Uh, so that way you guys don't have to sit through a 45 minute video if you just wanna see one thing. But really hope you enjoyed watching, really hope you learned something. This has been Daniel from soundheadquarters.com. Please check out my website, please check out my Instagram, sound.headquarters.inc, email, soundheadquartersinc at gmail.com, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Peace out.